Hello everyone, this is an introduction to the CFA Institute Research Challenge Season 2020-2021 in Switzerland and Liechtenstein. We are Mirjana Voitel and Olivia Müller from the CFA Society Switzerland University Relations Team and together with our colleague Florian Esther, we organize the competition in Switzerland. We would love to visit you at your universities and talk to you in person, but because this is not unfortunately possible, we are recording the video. We hope that the video will reach many of you who are interested in participating in the competition and provide you with more information you need at this moment. It is our aim to convince you to join the competition starting this autumn. CFA Institute um, created a great video about the research challenge back in April 2019. We will leave the description, um, we will leave the link to that video in the description box below. We highly encourage you to watch it. So what is research challenge? It is a global competition, global student competition in equity research. Um, that means that the same format of competition is organized in more than 100 countries. And by participating in our local competition, you are joining the network of more than 6,000 students from more than 1,000 um, universities that participate every year. How does the research challenge look, um, look, looks like in, how look like in Switzerland? Well, the research challenge is organized by us, University Relations Team from the CFA Society Switzerland, in collaboration with local um, universities and CFA Institute. We start uh, the competition in autumn, and generally we do have eight to ten universities and universities of applied sciences participating every year with something between 25 and 30 teams. Competition ends uh, in February when one team is selected, a Swiss, um, Swiss winner, to represent um, Switzerland and Liechtenstein in the EMEA regional final, where it gets to compete with um, teams from 40 other universities for a title of EMEA champion. This is the list of universities who participated and continue participating in research challenge every year. We are continuously working on onboarding more universities. Students take the position of a research analyst researching on a company. They have essentially two deliverables. The first deliverable is a research report, 10 pages plus appendix, like a, an initiation report in a sell side business. The second deliverable is an investor presentation. Students have to present in front of a very senior board of judges and convince them about their recommendation, like if they were investors. The company they have to research on is the company that exists in Switzerland that is listed on the Swiss exchange and that has agreed to actively participate with CEO, CFO, or even a company visit. On this slide, you see our track record. We started 11 years ago in the technology space with Myriad. Then we went to the media sector with Tomedia. Then we had actually only one consumer, which was Orior. Then we went to the automotive and component space, Autoneum, and then we had three companies of the med tech sector, Sonova, Tikan, and Straumann, which we visited. Then we went back to the technology area with ASCOM, then with VAT, and actually with VAT, um, two years ago, our Swiss team became global champion. Then we stayed within the technology space, Landis and Gear, and there we were again very successful. Our team went to the global finals and we just finished a couple of days ago the last season with Ublox. How does it work here? Well, it is a student competition as a team. Student build teams of three to five students not less than three, not more than five, and work during the entire winter term on their research project. 
We organize it together with our partners and our most important partners are, of course, the universities, your professors, and the professors usually embed the CFA challenge into a seminar or a lecture and give to you ECTS credits. On our side, we help universities by providing to them practitioners who hold guest lectures about topics that are relevant for you students to succeed. Those topics could be sales, could be presentation, could be equity research, could be also portfolio management and a variety of other topics. Each team works supported by their professor, the faculty advisor, and by a mentor, which we provide as well. They work throughout the entire winter term on doing the research work. So there is a lot of number crunching, a lot of researching, like if they were a really existing cell-side analyst. Universities present their best team um, at the Swiss local final. If they have more than one team at the beginning, they have to select their best team in December, um, taking into consideration the quality of their presentation and the quality of their report. And I think this gives another great opportunity to practice presenting. The finalist team per university then attends to the Swiss local final that takes place, as Miriana said, in February. Um, the jury board they have to present in front of is a high profile panel of heads of research, senior portfolio manager, head of asset management, chief investment officers from Switzerland's top firms. And then the Swiss local champion basically gets nominated, is the winning team, gets a reward, gets um, a trophy, and then travels to the EMEA regional final at a location which is typically in the EMEA region. We give special prizes for those teams who have delivered the best report and for those who have delivered the best presentation. This is the outcome of the 2019-2020 challenge. There were 117 local challenges, roughly as many countries. All those local challenges took place during the winter term. Every country could send its best team, its local champion to the EMEA regional finals. This year, it was uh, virtual, but it should have taken place in Amman, Jordan. There, the best teams compete against each other, resulting in two EMEA champions. These two EMEA champions, these were this year Lausanne and BI Norway Business School, compete against the champions from the other regions, being from APAC and from the Americas. At the global final, of course, then the global final champion is crowned. And this year it was University of Sydney with their difficult case on Commonwealth Bank of Australia. Dear students, this is really a tremendous challenge. It gives you real life experience as an equity analyst. Everything is real. You take place at an investor's day. You can ask questions to a CFO, to a CEO. You can watch quarterly results. You can attend conference calls. So you really get in-depth experience and also training into company analysis. Dear students, if you want to succeed, being good at technicals only partially helps. The real difference are the soft skills, and those are developed as well, such as teamwork, presentation skills, storylining, like in real world. If you have 
succeeded on your CFA challenge, you get a certificate from us, which we recommend to add to your CV. And I can promise to you, a campus recruiter seeing this certificate will know how much work you have invested and what this means. You get mentoring and you get a fabulous platform. Credit Suisse, through its campus recruitment unit, is sponsoring the, cha the, ch the challenge. And I can assure you, the campus recruiters will be very close to you. But you also get the fabulous networks with other key employers, professionals, and peers to open your doors into the financial services industry. And of course, for the Swiss local champion team, they can travel to the EMEA regional final and eventually even to the global final. And that is quite an experience. For instance, two years ago at the global finals, I was personally with, the, personally with the team and I took them to Wall Street and I took them to the trading floor of Credit Suisse and it was really a great experience for them. This is the schedule. A couple of months ago, we expect to announce the challenge in Switzerland early August. At the beginning of the winter semester, we will make the name of the subject company public that will again be a very interesting well-known company um, which has agreed to come with their CEO and CFO. There will be a kickoff on the 1st of October in the afternoon in Zurich at the university. Then in November there is a special conference call for you. You can submit questions, you can ask questions to the CFO. During the winter term, October, November, December, you work on your report like a normal analyst would basically do. If you have more than one team per university, there is a presentation round within the university, which gives you another training uh, in presentation skills. By early January, you have to hand in your first deliverable, which is the research report. We ask you to hand it in in two versions. One is completely anonymous, i.e. without your name, without the name of your university and without any reference to you. This is for grading purposes. And the other one is, of course, with your, with your name. The first uh, will be graded by eight to 12 graders out of our society. These are all investment professionals, equity research analysts, and they grade your report on a completely anonymous basis. In early February, we take all Swiss finalist teams to a location near Bern and organize for them a boot camp in presentation skills. We hired a professional presentation trainer for two days to give you a real boost in presentation skills, presence, but also storylining. Mid-February, you have to hand in your presentation, of course, with the input from the bootcamp, on the 18th of February, that will be the Swiss local final. The finalist teams present in the afternoon and in the evening, the Swiss local champion is crowned alongside with the special prizes for the best presentation and the best report. The team that advances to the EMEA regional gets another month to prepare for the EMEA regional and the EMEA regional takes place roughly early April 2021, and the global final takes place roughly end of April 2021. The global final will be in New York, but the location of the EMEA regional um, is not yet known. Now, as organizers of the competition, we are delighted to hear that students participating in the competition um, appreciate and are highly satisfied with their experience. 
and they're mostly happy with the practical experience in equity research they receive for the first time. Um, the, the fact that they upgrade their CVs, that they are better presenters after the competition, that they broader, uh, broaden their industry network and some of them are directly recruited from the competition. But to be very honest with you, this is not an easy challenge. Um, the feedback we received from some of the students is that they worked 150 plus hours and some of them even worked 600 hours. A few of students felt that this was not properly or fairly rewarded by the number of credits they received from their universities. And before we finish this in, um, presentation, I would like to remind you of one thing that Oli already mentioned. This is not a technical competition only. You all have great knowledge to write great research reports. This is about soft skills. So um, typically teams that are better than others are those who can present well, who can sell their recommendation to the judges and those who work very well in the team. So if you do have an interest in participating in the, the competition, we strongly advise you to ask your friends and ask colleagues you already work with already now to form teams. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to any of us, myself, Ori or Florian. Our um, contact details are on this slide or contact us at researchchallenge um, at swiss.cfa. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. We hope to see you in autumn. Bye-bye. See you soon. <laughs> Cheers.